Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Umineko. It's been about a week since the last one. Uh, hopefully, schedule should get back to normal. A lot of work going on for me right now. <laughs> very, very busy at work, so it's kind of sucking up a lot of my time, unfortunately. But, quick recap of uh, what's going on. Battler is currently heading back to the mansion. We discovered, um, well, oh, that's not what I meant to do. We discovered some of our friends dead, and I think we were about to check out George. Yep, I saw George Anakey's weather-beaten corpse. <clears throat> the corpse was in front of the arbor. If he had died under the arbor, he might have at least been spared being beaten down by uh, being down upon by the rain. And Anakey's forehead was a gaping hole, as though he had been shot with a gun. Perhaps because the rain had washed everything away. His face wasn't covered with blood and so he looked like almost like he was sleeping. However, his clothes were stained a deep red and there were still signs that a large amount of blood had flowed out. How happy I'd be if he were sleeping or else pretending to be dead. <laughs> hey George, get out from there. You're gonna get you're cold sleeping in the rain. But even though the rain sprayed against Anakin's eyes, they remained open. And the hole in his forehead was, in all seriousness, the real thing. There had been a faint chance that even Godasan and Kumasawasan hanging by their necks in the garden shed had been a bad joke. But that naive possibility had now been completely denied. And as I looked at this corpse, I became completely sure. Just as Godasan had once said, the enemy came to take lives as though these lives were pieces on a chessboard. That witch said something over the phone. Something about how we are on the chessboard. Battler's about to about to get it on with his with his hat stand spear. Very strong. Don't mess with Battler. The poke you. The lightning caused the mansion's vast shadow to rise up. Finally, the mansion. As the massive shape came into view, there was no silhouette of any person. It seemed that there weren't any underlings waiting for me in a pack or anything like that. According to Kyrie San. There were massive amounts of attendance with goat heads. At least for now, I couldn't sense a large group of them hiding and staring at me. What's this? Beneath the roof of the entrance, there's something set down. It looked like the kind of small box that girls often keep trinkets in. Or maybe it was the same kind of extravagant cigar case you'd find in a reception room. Either way, it didn't look like something that should be here. It clearly looked as though I was being told to open it. But for some reason, opening something being offered to me was irritating. However, it didn't look like we'd get anywhere if I didn't open it. Could it be that it's set up with some trap to make it explode and open? Thinking things like that, forgetting even to come under the overhang, I continued to glare at the box, still beaten down upon by the rain. Then, mixed in with the thunder was some kind of... music? It sounded like something like that. It was the tone of the big clock in the hall announcing it was midnight. 
He was also a sound announcing that the insane day, October 4th, had finally ended. And that the much more incredibly insane day of October 5th had begun. That sound quieted. And I could hear an eerie laugh come out of nowhere. I got the feeling that the voice was coming from the heavens. And I looked up at the sky. What I saw there was a woman I had never seen before. No, it's not true that I've never seen her before. I saw her once today. Yes, in the portrait inside the mansion. The clothes were different, but that face was just like the witch of the portrait. Ah, who am I kidding? I already know who this person is. <laughs> Battler, you need an umbrella. You're gonna get cold. From the second floor balcony, leaning out under an umbrella and waving high-spiritedly, was without a doubt the witch of the portrait, Beatrice. Was the plan for the boss to take a bird's eye view and let the goat underlings torture me to death? I adjusted my grip on the spear, getting ready to catch any hats thrown at me, and imagining goats creeping out of the surrounding shadows in the entrance and surrounding me. I raised my guard in all directions. <laughs> そして、我が肉体の蘇生を手伝う黄金の蝶たちもいなければ魔法陣もない召喚者の立ち会いもないその意味がそなたにはさっぱりだぜ寝言言ってるそなたとは確かにこの世界でも何度か会えては来たのだ
そなたが望むならわらわの黄金鏡へ招待してやるそこで何でも願いを叶えてやろうぞな<笑>どうやらこの島の血番はインク壺でもぶっかけちまったみたいだななるほどそれも愉快な表現よ<笑>すぐにそなたもそのインクに染まるぞやがては真っ黒に染まり必ず黒き金でもなるそなたは今インクの海に溺れる哀れな存在であるな is I think it is. いや違う島がてめえのインク壺だすべて真っ黒に染まっちまったことは認めるぞ this is, this is, this is 白いマスまだ残ってるぜほうどうこ俺の足の裏にだぞお前の魔法のインクが島中を覆い尽くそうと一見この島が真っ黒に染まろうと俺は俺だ白いマスをこうして踏みしめて立っている It's strange. Until a second ago, I was shivering all over. Probably because you were a stupid battler and you went out in the rain without an umbrella. But now that she's appeared openly right before my eyes like this, my terror is actually lessened. It's not terror, battler, that's you freezing to death. Interesting. Ghosts are more terrifying when you can only sense them. When you can see them and they have a face you can plant your fist into, there's nothing scary about it. However, she's definitely not an interesting nor friendly person. She can kill me instantly by snapping a finger while rolling around giggling. Whether we interpret the results of her snapping her fingers as magic flying at me, or underlings showing up to shoot me, it doesn't matter. Anyway, whether this is fantasy or mystery, that queen is in a position where she can kill me just by snapping her fingers. I see. So, this is the meaning of the queen of this island. Who reigns over both black and white squares? Sa. <laughs> Yeah, the base crunchers. Only problem is you're a bit far away, battler. You can't really punch her from there. Yeah. <laughs> それはよいそれはよならばほらほよこいおらほらたんたんぜったい安全な場所に嫌がるからってよゆぶっこきやがったね今からそこに行くぞ首を洗って待ってやがれああダメだ鍵がかかっているぞもちろん窓をすべて
一見を許そうではない合格ということそなたこそが時期闘志そして我らの肉体も魂どう扱おうとそなたの自由わらわは所詮は後宮家の家具なのだから<笑>どうやらテストってやつをどうしてもやらせたいらしいな以前受けて立ってやら合格したら最初のご褒美はてめえに顔面パンチだぜそれは怖い怖いだが暴力に支配されるのも嫌いではないぞわらわの頭をこう普通に表情を歪みさせたかがその爪で獲物を引き裂きかきむしるようにわらわを蹂躙してくれよああ若き日の金髪をもう一度思い出させておくれ、no, no, 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 no. <笑>わらわにこの千年の生涯でただ一度支配されてくるかし家具に落ちる喜びを教えてくれたあの日のことを思い出させてくれよ酔っ払いねラチがわかね Ignoring the stupidly smiling witch I picked up the box そうだそれを開く中に手紙があるそれを読む I can't read it there's too much water on it it's raining I opened it. There was a faint smell of cigarettes. Apparently, it really had originally been a cigar case. But there were no cigarettes or cigars inside. Instead, there was a western envelope with the one winged eagle crest. And when I opened that, too, there was a letter inside. I looked up at the witch. My letter is now getting soggy. She was grinning down at me. It seems she was looking forward to seeing what kind of reaction I'd have to the contents. Just perfect. Its contents were something like this. Among the three mentioned below. In order to gain two, sacrifice one. Your life. Blank's life? Everyone else's life. Well, well, I mean, I mean. Out of, you know, with the with the final choice being everyone else's lives, you don't have very much more to lose, so I'm just saying it's not as bad of a loss this time. <laughs> I mean, it is a little dark, but it's true. Um, what's, what's Blank's life? What's that? If you need, I'm guessing either they're going to explain it or it's the same thing as the other one. If you do not choose one, all of the above will be lost. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know who's alive. Oh, sorry, Battler. Maybe if you weren't standing in the rain, you could read it, because now with all the inks everywhere. I mean, if you do everyone else, there's not many more people to go down. Good job, Battler. Found the loophole. We're done. Kore de i ka? Oi, oi, jagasuna, jagasuna. That was an easy one. Tanoyo, Battler. Omae no omoi bito no nao. Wara wa ni oshete kure yo. Janai to testo ni naranu de wa nai ka. Wari na. Ore ni tokte no onna wa inei ze. Kari ni itatte. Battler likes all the girls. So, you put it, Conotesto, a sonata, 
お前とは一つも一致しねえぜ嘘をつけこのおっぱいソムリエが金髪のダイナマイトバディがいいんだろわらわがまさに理想の体現ではないか<笑>お前のスリーサイズを当てるのが次期投手のテストだってんなら喜んで挑戦してやるぜそうそう次期投手のテストであったなそなたと喋るのが楽しくてついついさっきから脱線してしまうわそれでは次期投手のテストを始めるそなたに後宮家次期投手としての資格があるかどうかを問う心して答えるがよい The witch who had been choking around like she was drunk until a second ago suddenly regained her dignity. She looked as though she truly had stepped out of that dignified portrait. Ware k o s o a u s h i r o m i a k e k o m o n l e n k i n j u t s h i o g o n no Majo ni s t e Mugen no Majo, Beato r i t I think I'm gonna leave it off right here. I know this is early, but I actually just ran out of time, unfortunately. I didn't plan this well, sorry. But uh, next time should be good.、Uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll leave battle, the beginning of Battler's actual test for、uh, next time. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time for some more Umineko. Bye!